Welcome to the fourth quiz of the Pro Quizzing League Clash of the Titans. Six city teams will fight it out in the Brands and Biz quiz today. Let's see the players who will face off with each other. Playing for Kolkata Wizards today is Shubhuto Das, a company executive. Playing for Chennai Erudits is Jayakantan, the captain of the team, is a consultant. Playing for Mumbai Geeks is Govind Grewal, a banker. Representing Delhi Brainiacs is Rohan Khanna, a management consultant. Playing for Bengaluru Aces is Pritam Upathya, a student. And representing Global Geniuses is their captain Rishin Chatterjee from Calgary, Canada, who is a marketing novice. Uh, the first round is a round called Off the Blocks. You have six questions in this round, one for each team. They will get plus 20 for a correct answer. There are no negatives. Each team gets one direct question. There is no passing for bonus. And you get 20 seconds to answer. Your 20 seconds starts once I complete reading the question. So you need to wait for me to reading the question throughout the quiz. First question goes to Bengaluru Aces. Here's your direct. First question of the first round. Outside of Microsoft, which entity has enabled Bill Gates to build the world's largest private foundation without diminishing his fortune? Your options are Cascade Investment, Argon Investment, or CompuServe Investment. I'll say Cascade Investment. You say Cascade Investment. And that is the right answer. You get a plus 20 off the block, Bengaluru Aces. Second question to Mumbai Geeks. Here it comes. As of 2019, which country has the highest GDP purchasing power parity in Africa? And your options are uh, <clears throat> I'll say South Africa. You say South Africa. Let's look at the answer. No, that's Nigeria. So that's Nigeria, not South Africa. So you don't get any point on this. Third question of the quiz. Kolkata Wizards. Founded in 1966, which chain of stores was initially called Sound of Music? And your options? It's Best Buy. Best Buy. And you get a plus 20 on this. Kolkata of the block. Direct for Chennai Erudits. In 2011, which company launched Workers' Wellbeing, an initiative dedicated to empowering workers' financial health and family well-being? And your options are... Okay, I'll go with IKEA. We're going with IKEA, let's look at the answer. No, it's not IKEA, it's Levi's, so no point for the erudits. Next question goes to the geniuses. Launch Beyond Waste Challenge is a partnership between Nike and which organization? Your options are... I'll go with UNICEF. You're going with UNICEF? No, that was NASA, not UNICEF. The Beyond Waste Challenge was with NASA. Last question of this round to the Delhi Brainiacs. In the 70s, what were 
Endrak Mark Mark, Burdelik N Borsiti, Concordia Res Parvae Crescent. And your options are these. Mutual funds. You go with mutual funds and you are off the block with a plus 20. That brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look at the scores. Three teams of the block, the Wizards, the Brainiacs and the Aces. The other three yet to open their account as we go into round two. of the quiz today. This is called Chance Double. 12 questions in this round. Six goes clockwise. The other six goes anti-clockwise. You get 10 for direct or bonus. You can double at any time for a direct or a bonus. If you are doubling, you say I go for a double. If you get a correct, you get a plus 20. If you are wrong, then you get a minus 10. So it's chance for double. Again, 20 seconds to answer per question on the debate. The first six goes clockwise. And the first question of the round goes to the aces. Here it comes. Marmite recently created this risky campaign. Now, why is it risky? That's the question. Why is the campaign risky? I'll give you a couple of seconds to look into the visual. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll say that I'm not going not going for a double. Uh, and I'll say that uh, this is risky because uh, it's it's asking uh, you know uh, so typically how you consume uh, marmite is by applying it on a on a bread or whatever and you know sort of you may lick it which might cause uh, some corona transmission or something. Okay. So, okay. No, nothing to do with corona transmission. I pass on to the geeks. Okay, uh, my guess is that it is risky because this is Brexit breakfast, no Brexit breakfast. So dividing the nation. So depending on whether the UK wants to be a part of the EU or wants to be out of the EU. You get a plus 10 on that. This is of course a to the controversial topic of Brexit. So hard breakfast, no breakfast, hot breakfast. That's precisely what uh, the campaign was all about. So it's a very good answer for from the geeks. So you get a plus 10 on this. Direct for the geeks. The Critics Choice Award winner for Best Inanimate Object 2001 is also a fan favorite on the court. This replica of the actual used in the movie has a top quality synthetic leather cover for great touch and feel. That was a product descriptor by a sports equipment company. You have to tell me which company and what is the specific product. So no half points. No both the answers. Okay, I will go for a double. Okay. Uh, this is essentially the sports company is Wilson and this is Wilson, uh, the volleyball, which is there in the castaway film. You get a plus super answer on this. That's the castaway volleyball from Wilson. So you get a plus 20 on this. That's a good try. Direct for the wizards. Here comes your question. By combining the two elements flanking uranium, atomic number 75, in the simple periodic table, we get the name of a German multinational. Which multinational? Okay, I can't remember. Passing. Passing. Pass on to the erudits. I'll go for a double on this. Yes. Osram. Going for Osram. 
The answer is Osram, you get a plus 20. Direct for the erudits. In the early 1970s, Mr. Ahmed set up shop in Campbell Lane. As he expanded rapidly, he moved to a larger place in Serangoon Plaza and then finally to Said Alvi Road, where it's currently located. Which renowned brand am I talking about? Okay, uh, this is mine, right? This is Erudits. Okay, I'll go for a double. Okay. Uh, I'll say this is Mustafa in Singapore. Go for a double. You say it's Mustafa in Singapore. You get a plus 20. It's Mustafa in Singapore. That is Mustafa in Singapore. Direct for the geniuses. He started his current venture in Mumbai in 2002, grew exponentially and expanded across the country rapidly. He is a recent entrant into the Forbes Billionaire Index. Identify his venture. Yeah, I think this is uh, DMART and uh, I think this is DMART. The venture is DMART. And you're not going for a double on this. It is DMART, you get a plus 10. At least I'm not on zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, direct for the Brainiacs. The name of these kind of shelters is also a hospitality brand name. What? A double? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh, yeah, it's a Ramada. Ramada gives you a plus 20. It's a very good answer. They're called Ramada and the brand is Ramada. <coughs> we'll go anti-clockwise from here. First question to the Brainiacs. Which Austrian publishing house derives its name from one of Socrates' students aligned to its love for classical antiquity and culture? Four seconds. Plato. Plato, not the right answer. Pass on to the geniuses. Aristotle. No. Pass on to the erudits. Uh, it's something like Phaedron. Can you repeat again? Phaedron. Mm -hmm. Something. No, not not the right answer. Uh, can you give me the spelling? Uh, because it might be the pronunciation. Yeah, P H A E D R O N. Something like that. No, no, not the right answer. Pass on to uh, the wizards. The Pliny. No, pass on to the geeks. Uh, El Sivo. Can you again give me the spelling? E L S I V E R. No, not the right answer. Pass on to the aces. Uh, I'll pass. So you're passing. Comes back to the to the quiz buster. I'll show the answer. The answer is the Fido Press from the Fido of Ellis. I think the Chennai Chennai was nearby that, but yeah. it was not the right answer. That's why I asked the spelling from you. Okay. Uh, this is direct for the geniuses. 
Tongo Gumi, a subsidiary of Takamatsu Construction Company, was at one time the world's oldest continuously ongoing independent company. What did it specialize in? And I need a specific answer on this. Uh, is it uh, making samurai swords? Making samurai swords, not the right answer. Pass on to the erudits. Yeah, I'll go for a double. Yes. Uh, they are construction, basically Buddhist temples. Class 20. They used to build Buddhist temples and they had been doing it for more than 1400 years. So class 20 to erudits. Direct for the erudits now. Created by the Castelletti family in the late 1960s, this brand came into public consciousness in the early 1980s when they became the shirt sponsors of AC Milan. You have to give me the name of the brand. Uh -huh. I'll say uh, Umbro. Umbro, not the right answer. Pass on to the wizards. Ayla? You said Ayla. Can you repeat the answer, wizards? Fila, Fila, F I L. F I L, no, not the right answer. Pass on to the geeks. Uh, I guess it's Diadora. No, pass to the aces. Uh, I'll say open. Passing on to the Brainiacs. Kappa. Uh, to the geniuses. Parmalat. No, comes back to me. I thought this was something that would have been cracked in this quiz. This is the Poo genes. Okay, direct for the wizards. This is a special edition version of a famous brand and is dedicated to a personality. If you get the personality, you would know the brand. Your I don't need the personality, just tell me the brand. You need the brand. Yeah, just the brand. Famous brand. Okay. Um is it a MasterCard? Mastercard, not the right answer. Pass on to the geeks. Pass. Passing to the aces. Say uh, American Express. You're saying American Express, no. Pass on to the Brainiacs. Double. You're going for a double on this. Uh, Titan. Zerus is the side. Titan. Very good answer. Titan is the right answer. And Zerus Desai is the person. Is there in the in the brand in the special branding? So this is you went for a double, right? right? Yes, yes. Plus yes, twenty yes. to the brainiacs. Direct for the geek. Which brand is currently running the cleaning champion campaign in West Bengal, featuring the likes of Prasenjit Chatterjee? to highlight the encouraging phenomena of more and more males taking up the mantle of cleaning their households in this period of confinement. I'll guess that all. Not that all. Pass on to the aces. I'll guess uh, Harpik. Harpik, not Harpik. Uh, I pass on to the Brainiacs. Uh, uh, Lysol. Lysol, not Lysol. Geniuses? Sudol. Sudol, okay. Local brand, not Sudol. Pass on to Erudits. Uh, I'll say Patanjali. Patanjali, not Patanjali. Come back to the wizards. I think it's Nimail. 
you think it's nimail you didn't go for a double but nimail it is the itc brand nimail you get a plus 10 the wizards <laughs> Last question of this round, direct to the aces. Here it comes. The Australian cricketer Richie Benno has been an early brand ambassador for this brand, which is famous globally. The brand had been had has had partnerships with Chins and even FC Barcelona. Which brand with an intrinsic connection with sports is being talked about? Uh, I'll go with Kukavura. Not the right answer. Uh, Brainiacs? Uh, Brill Cream. Brill Cream. Interesting try. Not the right answer. Geniuses? Gulf Oil. Gulf Oil? No. Hmm? Erudit? Did it get stopped? What did you say? Gulf Oil. Somebody said. No, no. Okay, uh, I'll just go for a guess. Uh, I'll say uh, Bon Vita. Not Bon Vita, uh, the wizards. Brill cream. Brill cream, no brill cream was already. Saving. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, Geeks. I will uh, guess Rakuten. Rakuten. No. It was direct for the ACs, right? Yeah. Uh, this is a brand called Milo. You've all heard about it, seen it. That's Milo. So they were with Richie Beno, Chennai Super King, as well as uh, FC Barcelona. So let's check the score at the end of the second round. Okay, all teams on the score sheet. Genius is on 10. Ace is on 20. Wizards and Geeks on 30 each. And Erudits and Brainiacs on 60 each. Okay, with this we go into the third round. The last round of today's quiz. It's called the Final Frontier. 12 questions in this round, 6 goes clockwise, the other 6 goes anti-clockwise. You get 10 for a direct and 20 for a bonus. So ideally you need to hold on to your questions so that the other team doesn't get a bonus. And again you get 20 seconds per question to try. Then it's a direct. So there's no staking in this right obviously. There's no staking, you just get a okay. 20 when, you, when, when you're trying for a bonus. That's quite Thank you. Perfect, thanks. Okay. First question goes to Bengaluru Aces. Here it comes. As part of rural expansion plans, Purpure announced the rollout of caravan talkies a mega consumer connect program in Uttar Pradesh in 2019. To deliver thought provoking stories to Caravan topic, topic, Caravan Talkies, which interactive art form was adapted by Kurku? Uh, I'll say this is puppetry. Puppetry. Interesting guess. I pass on to the geeks. Uh, my guess will be Tamasha, the theatrical form of Tamasha. The theatrical form of Tamasha. I pass on to the wizards. Uh, so, caravan talkies. Okay, so, um, okay, so my uh, guess is that uh, they, they would be basically doing like a, um, uh, what we do in uh, Potokatha, like you basically take a set of uh, pictures and you tell a story out of it. Okay, not the Patachitra that you are referring to. I pass on to the erudits. Uh, I'll guess Dastangoi. No, not the right answer. I pass on to the geniuses. Is it, is it the bioscope? Not the bioscope also. I pass on to the brainiacs. This is the Nukkar Natak or the, uh, you know, the, uh, like the Nukkar Nataks, right? Or the, the Nukkar Nataki type of thing. 
absolutely right this is the nukkar natak this is the nukkar natak and you take a plus 20 on this for getting a bonus direct for geeks simple what is green washing um so green washing is essentially when companies pretend to be environmentally uh, friendly but they actually don't do anything of uh, benefit to the environment like for example an oil company will say it's investing in renewables but it's actually making most of its money through uh, fossil fuels take a plus 10 on that it's pretending to be green or eco friendly but actually not being so you green washing direct for the wizards recently in news what you see here should remind you of a brand i want the name of the brand um tobleron tobleron of course that's tobleron you get a plus 10 that is the matterhorn and and that's in the in the brand of tobleron direct for the erudits the common interpretation is that by filing for this unique drone based agricultural patent walmart is looking to gain more control of the food it's selling by being able to improve quality and cutting costs so what is this unique futuristic agricultural patent walmart filed for in 2018 what is it called this is this is for chennai yeah it's yeah. for the erudits okay uh this is some kind of artificial bees and uh for pollinating plants and everything this is like robotic bees and uh uh bee hives so you you can you can whatever program your pollination accordingly and there's some kind of robo bees brilliant answer chennai beautiful that's robot bees that's exactly mm. what we're looking at direct for the geniuses born to british parents in pakistan he studied for some time in masuri went to oxford became the editor of two of uk's earliest computer magazines and then acquired something phenomenal in 2001 identify this person two more seconds karan birimoria no not the right answer pass on to the brainiacs uh so i need to pass on brainiac uh, uh this is uh, david davidar no pass on to the aces uh i'll go with james khan no a pass on to the geeks i'll uh, guess alan sugar no not alan sugar uh wizards um is this sabir bhatia no not sabir bhatia uh the erudits okay um I'll, this is a guy who acquired ted foundation i think this is uh, chris anderson last 20 very Thank very you. good answer super crack that's chris anderson of ted you get a plus 20 erudits to so direct for uh, team 6 brainiacs your question comes now launched on april 15 to a limited audience of select comcast subscribers this is nbc universal's entry in the rapidly expanding streaming video landscape 
What is the brand name of this streaming service? <coughs> Peacock. Peacock gives you a plus 10. Of course, that's Peacock. Last six of the quiz, we go anti-clockwise. Okay, direct for the Brainiacs. The headquarters original features are said to be based upon the old Toronto Star building. One story claims that it began publication in 1775 and George Washington wrote a guest editorial for the first edition. What am I talking about? What does this mean? Headquarters original features? Okay. Uh, read Elsevier. Elsevier. No, not the right answer. I go to the geniuses. Is it the Washington Post? Not the Washington Post. I go to Erudits. I guess New York Times. Not New York Times. I go to the Wizards. Um, I guess New Yorker, the uh, magazine. New Yorker, the magazine? No. Geeks? Uh, I guess uh, National Geographic. National Geographic? No. Uh, Aces? I'd say Boston Globe. No, not the right answer. The answer is... Yeah. Any planet from the Superman oh. universe. Very nice. Good question. That's the daily planet from the Superman universe. Very nice. Next question to the geniuses. In a recent interview with Otto X in December 2019, he pointed out that when it comes to the auto sector, Customers are more involved and more likely to step into dedicated stores, which may not be the case with a FMCG product such as toothpaste. Imagine a toothpaste store as if that would ever happen. He joked. Identify this person who has been in, in recent news. Uh, Elon Musk? Not Elon Musk. I pass on to the erudits. Uh, just thinking. I guess uh, this is Tim Cook. No, I pass on to the wizards. Um, is this Masayoshi Son? No, I pass on to the geeks. Um, my guess is Jeff Bezos. Not the right answer. I pass on to the aces. Uh, I'll just go with Anand Mahindra. Going with Anand Mahindra comes to the brainiacs. Uh... Mary Barra. No, none of you got this one. The answer is Rudy Singh. Oh. Right up there, uh, I think Oof. last week or a week before that, when this yep. incident happened, that was Rudy Singh. Okay, next question. This is direct to erudits. Here it comes. A patent application published describes a blanket, mattress, and camera setup that would monitor users' sleep. In addition to it, this could measure users' movements during sleep, their heart rate, and their body and room temperatures during the night. 
it would then heat up or cool down accordingly now name the company and the brand name of this product cool down yes erudit okay yeah i'll uh, i'll guess this is ford as in ford motors and uh, uh sweet dreams ford motors and sweet dreams pass on to the wizards <clears throat> um i guess is google nest google and nest okay interesting pass on to the geeks i'm guessing it's amazon quilt amazon quilt okay is is uh no nothing pass okay i uh, come to the brainiacs uh is it casper 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 okay. and Casper mattress. I don't know. Casper and Casper mattress. Pass on to the geniuses. I was going for Apple and I sleep. You going for Apple and I sleep? It was direct for the uh, erudits, right? Yeah. Geniuses on the right track. It's I mattress and Apple, not I sleep and Apple. So that's what it is. A direct for the wizards. There are no part points, right? No part points. Okay. A direct for the wizards. Here's your question. We should almost hire a twelve-year-old to help us out with this," said David Levinick, a security expert at military base in Borden, Ontario. Since July 2016, civilians started driving into Canadian military bases at odd hours, leaving the military officials flummoxed. A woman was found with her three children climbing a tank. Now, what was the issue all about? So, Canadians were playing Pokemon Go, and uh, the Poke Gym was inside this military uh, base. So, they were coming there to capture Pokemons. Okay, plus ten. Pokemon Go is is the, is the simple answer on this. Well done, the wizards. Direct for the geeks. Before that, let's look at the scores and see where we are. The two more questions going. Okay, two teams on ninety: the erudits and the brainiacs. So, in order of a of a bonus, erudits, the brainiacs get a early chance, and I think you have for the. Okay, okay. Two teams on ninety erudits and brainiacs. You have the wizards on fifty. Then you have the geeks on forty. You have the aces on twenty and the geniuses on ten. So that's where we are. Direct question for the geeks. Question number eleven for Mumbai geeks. Here it comes. In the late 90s, Parleyji was looking for some promotion. However, no Bollywood actor was fitting their bill at that time. Curiously, they found their association with something else that caught the nation by storm and powerfully raged till the mid 2000s. Who became their brand endorser? Oh, okay. Okay, for lack of a better guess, I'm going to say Dalair Mehndi. I'm going to say Dalair Mehndi. Pass on. I pass on to the aces. I'll say this is uh, Shakti Man or Mukesh Khanna. Shakti Man, basically the character end. It is Shakti Man. You get a plus twenty. It is Shakti Man. You pick up a twenty. That means the two other team. Team ninety that they need. So two teams still on ninety, and 
the last question of the quiz goes to the aces. <coughs> question number 12, here it comes. I'll give you some time to spend with this visual, read it carefully and tell me the brand. Uh, I'll say this is uh, Vaseline. You say this is Vaseline? Is that your answer? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. If it passes, it goes to the Brainiacs. They can pick up a 20 and probably win this quiz. Vaseline is the right answer. You pick up a 10 at the end. And two teams finishing on 90. Let's look at the final scores. The Chennai Erudits finish on 90. Along with the Brainiacs, they're also on 90. Two teams on 50. The Wizards are on 50. And the Aces finish on 50. And the Geniuses end on a 10. Thank you so much for watching this edition of the Pro Quizzing League Clash of the Titans. Keep watching for the next quizzes all this week in our YouTube channel. Subscribe right now and keep on getting notifications. See you tomorrow.